Hello and welcome to Auto Harp at the Altar. I am Bay Allen and it is my pleasure to be bringing you a new song this week. Um, every week right here on Auto Harp at the Altar we look at a song of the faith or hymn and this week we are turning our sights on the gift of love also known as water is wide in some folk circles um, and also known as Oh Wally Wally. Uh, and so it's got different names, but the tune is probably familiar to you. We're going to be in the key of G today, uh, and we will need a one chord, a five chord, a four chord, a six chord, six minor, and a two minor. And so that's a G, a D, a C, an E minor, and an A minor. And so let us, let us play this song together. The Gift of Love. So there's the tune, The Gift of Love. So now let's go ahead and we will learn how to play that tune. Um, and again, I use the numbers instead of the chords. And so it starts with the one chord right there on the G. So on the one. And so it's, Though I may speak with bravest fire. So it's one, one, five, one. Four, four, one. Okay, I'm going to do that again. One, one, five, one. Five, four, four, one. Let's go ahead and pause the video and practice that. And then come right back. All right, welcome back. So you should have the first line already down. It sounds like this. One, one, five, one. Five, four, four, one. And the next line. We're still in that one. So it's one, one, five, six minor. Two minor, one, four, one, five. Okay. So both of the six and the two are minor. I'm not going to say the word minor just so it flows with the melody a little better. Uh, but just know that they're minor in this instance. So I'm going to do that line again. So it's starting with a one, which came from the first line. One, one, five, six. Two, one, four, one, five. Okay. practice that and then come right back all right so you should have the first two lines two more to go let's go ahead and do this from the top so it's one 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 five one five four four one 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 five six two one four one five moving on Five, one, four, one, four, one, five, one, six. Okay, so let's do that again. So it's coming off of line two, which ended on a five. So it's five, one, four, one, four, one, five, one, six. Okay, go ahead and pause and practice that. 
the third line. All right, so you should have the first three lines done. Let's go ahead and play them through, and then we'll learn the last line, and you have the whole tune. One, one, five, one. Five, four, four, one. One, one, five, six. Two, one, four, one, five. Five, one, four, one. Four, one, five, one, six. Two, one, four, one. Five. Five, five, four, four, one. So I said that five like that because it comes not on a melody note, but it's a chord transition that you still almost have to play even if you're just playing string melody. Uh, you could omit it, I guess, but it, it makes a lot more sense to hit that there. So it's a... Um, it's a okay, so... So coming off that six minor. So two, one, four, one. Five, 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 four, four, one. Okay, so go ahead and pause and practice that. You have the whole song. And then I'll talk to you a little, we'll play it through. And then I'll talk to you about modulations. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna play this through and hopefully uh, we got it. And so here we go. So one modulation you can do is now that you went through the whole thing, just move up one step. So we are in G, so we're going to do the key of A, but all your numbers still work the same. So Another one that I like to do, and so um, right there we were in A, so go to the two minor, which would be a B minor, and then hit an A7. Sounds kind of weird, but then it gives us the transition into D. I gotta do it in context or it doesn't work right. So we just ended on the.
keep playing. Because then from E, you could do the you could do the um, the two minor modulation again. So you would go to the F sharp minor, and then the E seven, which will put you back into the key of A. So it's really cool to just uh, spice up your arrangements by throwing in a couple of these modulations. One is just the full step forward, which is great. Okay, one step forward. If you're a singer, it's not usually that far off that you can't keep singing with it. Um, and then you could go to the, the minor modulation. I don't know where I picked that up. I just started doing it, but it works um, almost every time. You got to give a little bit of a pause, though. So if you're strumming, do the minor. You know, and then go into it. But it works really good. Um, so I hope that's helpful for you as... Once we learn these songs with the numbers and not the chords, you can easily do that. Just go from one key to the next. You don't have to worry about transposing. Whatever key you want to go to, up or down, uh, I just gave you two modulations. There are others that you can figure out, but those are two staples that I use a lot. Um, and so I hope it's beneficial to you. If, if so, make sure you put a comment on this video to let me know what you thought about the modulations. Um, so I know if you like some of these tech tips a little bit, arranging tips, if you will. And so that's it, the gift of love. I, I hope that this was a blessing to you. Again, subscribe if you haven't already so you never miss a video. Head over to Facebook and you'll get my roadmap each week, uh, which has the numbers on top of the music. Sometimes it's just a picture out of my hymnal. Like this week, it's just a picture out of my hymnal. Um, but you'll have my roadmap to help you. And yeah, drop some comments in there. I love to hear from you guys, I really do. Um, and blessings to you. I hope that you have a blessed week. Until next time, God bless.